Psalm 37 Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong, for like the grass they will soon wither, like green plants they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good, dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him and He will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more, though you look for them they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the righteous, and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword, and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those, whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster they will not wither, in days of famine they will enjoy plenty, but the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed, they will go up in smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land but those he curses will be destroyed. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him, though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, acknowledging your steadfast love and faithfulness. You are our shepherd, and in you, we lack nothing. You restore our souls and guide us along the right paths for your name's sake. Even though we walk through the darkest valleys, we will fear no evil, for you are with us, your rod and staff comforting us. Lord, have mercy on us, and cleanse us from our sins. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew steadfast spirits within us. Do not cast us from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation, and grant us willing spirits to sustain us. You are our refuge and fortress, our God in whom we trust. Under your wings we find shelter, and your faithfulness is our shield and rampart. We will not fear the terrors of the night, or the arrows that fly by day, for you command your angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. Bless the Lord, all our souls and forget not all his benefits. You forgive all our sins and heal all our diseases. You redeem our lives from the pit, and crown us with love and compassion. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. You have searched us, Lord, and you know us. You perceive our thoughts from afar and are familiar with all our ways. Before a word is on our tongues, you know it completely. Where can we go from your spirit? Where can we flee from your presence? If we ascend to the heavens, you are there. If we make our bed in the depths, you are there. We lift up our eyes to the mountains. Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. You will not let our feet slip. You watch over us and do not slumber. The Lord is our keeper, our shade at our right hand. You will keep us from all harm and watch over our lives. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the stronghold of our lives of whom shall we be afraid? Though an army besiege us, our hearts will not fear, though war break out against us, even then will we be confident. We remain confident of this. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We wait for the Lord. We are strong and take heart. We trust in you, Lord, and do good. We delight ourselves in you, and you give us the desires of our hearts. We commit our ways to you, and trust in you, for you will make our righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of our cause like the noonday sun. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.